Now, as a Christian parents, really, when you go into a toy store and you're going to buy toys for your child, and if your child accompanies you, the way that we buy toys shouldn't be like the world. It should be, you know, we're supposed to pray without ceasing, and we're supposed to teach these things to our children as well. So when you go buy a toy, when you've decided to take your child to buy a toy and let them pick a toy, it should be done in biblical principle. In that, together you and your child, you teach your child to lift this prayer up with you. In essence, more or less, you would pray with your child to teach your child to say, Jesus, thank you for the toy that I'm about to get at the toy store, please. Lead me, Lord, to get a toy that you find acceptable and to turn away from the toys that you do not approve of. So your child is going into the store having the, the mind of Christ in this decision process, which is what it should be. And as your child is considering every toy, of course, depending on the age of the child, you would do well to reinforce it to the child. Jesus, can you tell us, can you lead us, Lord? Is this a, a toy that you approve of? Or is this a toy that you approve of? Or is this a toy that you disapprove of? And you can use those times to explain to your child what is a toy that the Lord would disapprove of, including anything that has hints or resembles anything demonic and that's a time to teach your child these things it may be unusual conversation that is heard for parents in a toys section of a store but for Christians this is the kind of thing that we should be doing and we should not only be doing it for our children we should be doing it also for ourselves and anything that we go to buy and for something for ourselves we should be lifting this to the Lord. Lord, lead me to something that you approve of and keep me from the things that you disapprove of. And this way, not only are we walking in the walk as children of the Lord, but we are also having and continuing on in this interpersonal relationship that we have with the Lord. So in essence, we are using the Lord and the Holy Spirit so that we don't let into our house by error, by some means, a toy or an object or anything of that matter that may have something from the enemy. Now sometimes you may discover later on that it did have something and in that case you discard it. You simply discard it and you make sure to truly discard it as I did here so that no one can, no unsuspecting person can themselves fall victim to whatever this is. Because you know I'm saying fall victim because the wages of sin is death. There can't be anything more serious than the second death for unknowingly, unwittingly, or even knowingly partaking in some kind of thing that leads to a sin and and to perish in that sin to die in an unrepented sin so this is not just the season to bring to our children the things that they hope and wish for but to always keep and teach our children and to ourselves walk in and keep to the biblical principles of what it means to be a child of God as Philippians 4 8 says whatever is honorable whatever is pure we are held to a different standard and as you see it's not that we can't have for our children the toys that they may desire to have to play with it's godly toys that we allow into our house. It can seem convenient to let the world move your child to get whatever is trending. 
but we are held to a different standard and in addition we are also held by the Lord to raise our children to be godly children there's no more precious gift that you can give your child than to teach your child to include Jesus in every aspect of their life in every thing that they consider because in essence what you're teaching your child to do is to live a life of Galatians 5 24 to crucify the flesh to have the mind of Christ you're ensuring that your child is being raised to truly belong to Jesus to truly be counted as his sheep you are raising your child as a true Christian there's no better gift there's no better gift and it's worth being a little peculiar in the toy store every time you go there with your child what a thing what a rich heritage you're giving that child to learn to think with the mind of Christ so that all the time that child stays within the grace of the Lord and the Lord reigns within that child 